will change pretty much everything. And now with this DD, they're going to be able to finish this Roshan time. Aramis, he's looking for the opportunities. Rocket Flare is going to be coming to bat up in a second. He, oh, got, oh, the he got the last hit. How does this keep happening today? Rocket Flare of all things. It's like 200 damage. Oh, and he goes in. Looking to be able to catch Thompson here. They get a nice wall out too with the bind. They do actually have to relocate. That's going to be able to bail him out. Mid one pops BKB and tries to go for boom, but it's not really the best target for him. He's kind of looking around, trying to find his opportunity for a Chronosphere. Now he sees it. A three man with the Cataclysm. Pulled back into the Meteor as well over the top. Shad, he managed to get off his BKB though, and boom, going back in, almost finishing off Soxa. Tosses forward to be able to finish off Soxa. On the second life up, mid one though. Unstable Concoction doesn't quite get off in time. Now he's going to be super no stunned. Now he's going to be unstable concoction stunned. Now he's going to be in some serious trouble and maybe bashed up as well. But mid one, he's got to remove the sounds first. Shad running forward, but he's caught in a trap. Nice toss up in the air. Boom, finds another opportunity. He just keeps on going in and out. What a brilliant tiny player. Have a glimpse yeah. of the vision and they know that there's like not enough damage. Ember Spirit doesn't really threaten him. The Roche they put kill. the Inkswell onto the Tiny. He actually tosses up Nico Baby in the air, so that's a little disruptive. Not quite what they wanted. Nico Baby's already down to half health, but he's locked down the Ember Spirit like they wanted. The Soulbind's keeping him oh, well. What, what a beautiful vacuum with the AoE from Limp. And look at that. ILTW thought he was going to be able to get away to the other side of the cliff, but that's where his grave is going to reside. And that is where Virtus Pro's chances at this game are going to rapidly fall apart as an attempt at forcing things around the Roshan pit turns to a grim situation, and now Alliance will take the Aegis for free. 50 seconds for the Venomancer. Limp's gonna come in, tries to blow up Solo. Didn't have the attack speed to get that big hit in there, so the double damage kind of goes to waste. Limp, though, is perfectly tanky enough to make those kind of initiations and not be punished for it too heavily. That being said, they've already used their Shadow Dance, and uh, I think it's time to retreat here. Is the Tier 3 still up? There's Splitter. Oh, there's another vacuum wall combination, and the whole game's gonna shut down as they know. Virtus Pro, they just got trounced inside their own base, and they throw as many buybacks as they can to be able to cobble together a, a couple of kills there. The Clockwork and the Darkseer both go down. Hopefully, TP's are coming kill? in. Maybe. They're dropping the Storm. Uh oh. I mean, Miracle says thank you very much. You're just handing me, you know, you're just walking into me and handing me some kills. All right. Yeah. Mine is done. Bottom lane as well, Nico Baby in a bit of a spot of bother. He's been dusted. Mind Control's hunting the Iron Shell, bringing him down low. The Blast as well from Weeha. They'll take him out. Nico Baby falls Weeha. Goes to the self to grab fight to simulate. Will miss from He that. touches it. We are still very, very low here. Can he really juke this one out? He doesn't have any sort the of TP. He's going to hold his ground with the life drain. Meanwhile, RML was able to find and catch FNG. TPs are coming in. The grab there from the Remnant will He's got it again. It. He's still living. Another suck. Buys time for We are. He's certainly causing He's quite got another the nuisance. Drain. <laughs> He's <laughs> keeping cool himself down. alive. He's stepping across. Hanskin has to glimpse him away. This cooldown is He's so ridiculous. He's scared of the little skeleton kid. Another self decrepit fight. Hanskin has died to mind control. Limp S4, they're trying to finally finish him off, but Weeha, no way. final surge, pushes him off to the side. He's still got no TP, but it doesn't look like it matters. He turns another drain onto S4. No S4 way. trying to stand his ground, but they cannot <laughs> kill him. The suck's too strong. Nico Baby's coming, he really wants this Pugna dead. He's gonna have another drain though, don't do I, it, man. He <laughs> can't! Do it. He's just gonna let him walk, he knows they can't kill him, we are out of it! Oh god, and that's, we mentioned a little bit, you know, Void Spirit, they have a Three little bit. Leading, leading cause of Alliance, Nico Baby. Getting the vision down bottom, he's gonna look to open up on a Weeha, force out it's that BKB charge early. Mates. I mean, he doesn't mind playing as this aggressive, he knows he's tanky. Hookshot over onto him, he's got that Aegis, he's actually gonna use the BKB on his first life because he wants to chase down Weeha. He knows the BKB's coming to an end, the glimpse back from Hanskin grabs Weeha, Weeha tries to stand and use the drain, but he cannot do so. The wall's down, they jump forward looking for a supernova attempt for GH, but he won't find the opportunity to do so. The Doom's down onto RMN, S4 commits with the BKB, they're fucking they're miracle. down, pushing back the Arc Warden, Nico baby, S4 limp, they chase him down, Surge is there, oh. Miracle, he's running away, can they quite find him, they cannot, the Surge from Mind Control, Will save Miracle for now. He'll get himself out of there. But Limp, he's into the trees. The Remnants oh now my won't God. quite grab him. Slide to the left from Miracle with that <laughs> hurricane pipe. Shoves himself back to safety. Still around this tower though. S4 and Limp, they're looking to dive in. You'll set up onto the Dark Sea, into the Remnant. Pull back Nico Baby. Off the damage with the burning, uh, the, the burning arrows. One control will live. Another dive forward. Oh, the net into the Meteor? It's going to work. The vacuum, the combo. 
It's gonna do it. The dust is out onto it. They're gonna be able to kill him all. No BKB. Ten seconds either. This could just be Ooh, another death here. Can they do it a second time? Setups there. They're gonna look for him. Nico baby trying to run, but the Ooh. magical burst is too much. GH with that combo play. Oh my God. Thirty thousand net worth. Jesus. Just keep looking. Okay, he's 10k ahead. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, you know, you, you, you sort of feel like... I mean, it feels close because of how Nico Baby is getting these kills after kills. He goes in, there's the going to be a drop down onto the Darks here. As for Nico Baby popping the BKBs, they'll turn towards the clockwork. RMN goes Scepter, buys time for himself, turns over towards S4, S4 pops the cheese. He's back up to full HP. GH, he's been caught on the side. The static storms down to simulate to blow him up before he can get the egg off. Three dead on Nigma. As Nico Baby, he's even heading in for more. Gets the silence out onto Weehar. Rave Stu hit him, stopping him from chasing S4. He actually goes in with a blink. He's able to get on top of Miracle straight away with the stun. There's going to be a buyback for GH Miracle. Having to get out of this one. GH turns with the Sunray onto S4. Down. He eggs out. Nico Baby is in too deep. The Aegis will get taken. They're trying to kill off the egg. Can they do so? They cannot. Double kill for Miracle. The buyback from GH putting an entire stop oh to the dive God. from Alliance. As GH keeping it cool, coming in hot. For those Tempest double spiel to split push and fight. So they go, oh, look shot off the mark there from RMN. They're on S4, though. I, S4 sort of walked into this one. I mean, S4, is he going to get the Doom out in time? He will be able to get it off the dark here. Nico Baby turns over towards RMN, but again, the Clip Center keeps it safe. Lip jumps out with the Astral Step. He'll live, but that's S4 gone. S4 does not have buyback. Another bit of control onto Lim. Lim, he's got no step for a couple of seconds. He turns with the Remnant, but the Whoa. damage from Miracle, these 1k crits, taking out the Arc Warden. Uh, sorry, the, 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 the Void Spray. I have a Void Spray. He's got buyback. He's back in. Where's that? Oh my god, FNG just got... It's a big static storm. It's just caught the three of them, Nico Baby. He's... Could he live through this one? He turns over towards the egg, but GH Next down. gets the egg out at the final second. Alliance just get away, but the vacuum from Mind Control drags it back in. Lim jumps out with the step, the stun. It catches onto Nico Baby, catches onto FNG. That's a dieback on the Enchantress. Ultra kill for Miracle. They're going to look to start pushing into the tier fours. Alliance, they're only down to three heroes to try and hold this. I don't know if they can. Miracle rampage. just gets the rampage. I mean, at this point, can they really turn it around? Limp could try to double, double rampage for Miracle. He may even just get the triple. And it's he's a triple. Do so Miracle cleans it up. He says, this was never close. This was my show all along. And I'm the starring man. Oh, very far. He just charges in. I don't think Weeha saw him for and a second And he charges there. out. I mean, he, he's <laughs> going to get away with it. They're just running into the fourth of them. And this sort of chaos is paying off. Limp goes in with the stun. Mind Control will turn with the Doom down. Egg is down. DK. He's going to try and turn and take down the egg. It's, they're going to be able to do it. The Supernova gets popped. They're taking it out. The, the static, static storm, storm catches the Morphling. Again, Wait. RMN with these odds clipping them out. This DK cannot escape. He dies during the Doom. And Weeha denied the egg. He did. He denied the egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they don't even get anything out of it. They the don't get life. any kills. They don't get anything. And they committed on top of that egg completely. RMN gets a dream static storm. Ghost Scepter comes out for Morphling so he doesn't die right away, but then a power shot takes away all his With HP. a Tidehunter, he becomes basically unkillable. Yeah, you take a large percentage of the damage away, and then you take just straight up raw damage out. Thompson, though, he's really got to be careful of that Sunray. That's the only thing that really threatens him right now, is if he stays into the entirety of that, that percentage-based damage does do some good work. And what a rolling from Soxa, reading where the Remnant's going, and that's a vacuum follow-up as well with a Ravage. And is that just going to be the wipeout of this game? They do manage to take out the Supernova, and there's still some buybacks left in the tank for Ninjas the Pajamas. They're going to have to blow all of them, though, and they don't have their Echo Slam. They they don't have their Supernova. I'm not sure what they have to be able to stop OG from retreating. Hold a whole lot of real estate. No tail. Drop in some sprays on the ground while dodging tornadoes. Misha, he's going to be able to get the Paralyzing Cask. It's not going to land for very long. And a missed initiation there from Seb. He's trying to blindly catch Charlie. Charlie pops his God Strength. They're chasing after the Pango right now. Deafening Blast is going to push him away, but they still managed to finish off that team fighter. And look at the damage coming out from Thompson, man. Charlie, it just looks like he's being ignored. It's now the Supernova is going to be dealt with by the Gyrocopter. Charlie it finally falls as he couldn't even kill mid one. Supreme looking to finish him off with the Tornado, the Ice Wall, but no, the heals come in from No Tail. That is an ultra kill for the Chad Sun and they didn't kill anything. Look, they're all ending on mid one. This is just this is just sad at this point in time. This is this is cyber bullying. This is <laughs> Give just... him the rampage. Oh, those are some good teammates. Those are some great teammates. I'll shout out for Ninja the Pajamas for giving him the rampage as well. That difficulty is just pushed up to an entirely different level.
He's gonna have the butterfly pretty much finished now at this point. Koikva's just, his bears are just dying. And look at Koikva's net worth in this game. He's not really a factor at all as this lone druid. Matsu's ready to get a little involved himself now. He's got a DD rune, jumps over, looks towards the bear, the bear. It, it just resummoned, and now he's part two. Oh, and Koikva's gonna be dead as well by the looks of it. They're going for the egg as well. They're gonna be able to find it. Oh, oh the maybe the Boxy! He's in with the, the star, is... Boxy! Oh, he protects the egg perfectly. Woo! Oh. Excellent from Boxy. He will be able to turn that around. That gets the big one. That's Matumba Man dead and gone. As they'll clean up Zai as well. Boxy. I mean, it was one hit away. Oh one hit away, and God. Boxy comes in big time. Make a play, you know. Put one hero, bait it, but they need to be ready with either like a Shackle a or Big Zip. But it's into to the high ground. They look for Miracle, but the BKB is popped. They've got the lasso, the vacuum as well. They're stuck up on the second cliff. Crit will get knocked back down, but the damage is there from Miracle to take him out. Ramses is stuck up. The BKB comes to an end as Ramses will try to TP out, but Miracle's back in with the change to cancel it. GPK tries to zip him, but he's low on the mana. He's got to be careful. The Yule's control there. I believe Miracle with the... Was that, yeah, there was a self Yule's there. He did attempt to try and catch GPK. Ended up just getting himself. So they, they've got that jump. He's going to go for the for the solo skewer onto Ramses. Insta BKB from Ramses. No messing around. In fact, he's got to turn towards Weeha, GPK. Thinking about chasing this. Has been corrosive haste. He's going to go in aggressively with the Astral Step. Bringing Weeha low. Lift up by the Yules. Weeha is going to skewer away. But the jump forward on oh, the threat. skewer back. The counterplay. Beautiful stuff here from the Rubik. The Tomb's down on Miracle. Oh, that. They're getting run over pretty hard right now, Nigma. EG coming in at the, the, the sort of the highest of class here in game three. I love how Ramses was just holding on to that Doom. Like he yeah. could have easily used oh, the corn again. Magnus, but did not want to another skewer play from Crit. Yeah, Crit. He's just coming in Pressure with sure to make this hero work. Farm aggressively, cut waves, take enemy jungle camps. But because he's up against effectively a one-to-one -one just hard counter in the lane, I don't know if that'll be the case. Touchdown, Miracle. Yeah, of course Miracle. He's he's off to a fiery start down here. He's being hunted again. The living armor protecting him. He's starting to punch back on Misery as well with that forge spirit. Misery jumping forward. He's trying to find this kill. Can he quite do it? Miracle getting brought low, but again the heals and sustain oh being offered across the map by oh mind control. My God. And now he turns with a forge spirit and gets the kill. Miracle, three zero on one so far in the first five minutes. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Zibe. Giving a shot to redeem himself. He does just that. A buyback from Pilot. I but he gets so much XP off it. I'm sure he doesn't mind. Gh. What did he just turn on there? What in the hell? Ace? Ace? G-H. Can you relax, G-H? What the hell? <laughs> hey! Oh. That, <laughs> they're getting three connections with a Rolling Thunder. Finding How did he... the angle. I mean, G-H, man. The... Step aside, boys and girls. I mean, Zippe gave us some lovely action down bottom with his Rolling Thunder. G-H. Blink on them and they're slowed by 50%. Hook shot blocked by a Forge Spirit. That was just beautiful by Thompson. Iceberg still managed to go in after the agents picked up, though. And so his life is now forfeit, as is maybe Generals. If Seb failed to be able to repel OG, that's going to be Elena Barracks. But they didn't wait because the meta was already out. I didn't realize he popped it that early on in the fight. Yeah. Now it just keeps on jumping in. Midwan sees an opportunity. Oh. Dude, that's like the smoke screen. Catches Riceberg right as he goes for the jump buddy, but pops the Minotaur horn. Does manage to get the toss back. Bashed up though. Telekinesis doesn't last for long. Hook shot one. Cogs push back a four step. And he managed to get off the cheese. I'm safe. And now the RP into the cataclysm oh, for the so beautiful. Thompson, he'll finish it off in style. They have a couple of buybacks, but only two for Flight of Moon. And it's looking like OG with that kind of sick wombo combo may have just ended this Playing series. Back there. Have caught Zip. Well, Zip. I said they caught Zip. Zip is trying to go on limb. All right, they're going to try and move out for the fight. The the oh tooth. my god! Oh, he's caught the both. He's trapped in it. Pilot will be able to come in with a false promise. Of Jesse, no but the first ace. He's dead and gone. FNG with the trap set. With the prediction play. He's like, oh, Void's going to jump right here. I and Void didn't use BKB, so I he's a dead. They're without a carry for 90 seconds. You have the true strike to counter the life stealer who always builds into evasion and has an evasion talent. Oh, Ooh. what a black hole. That's a three man black hole with Supreme. Do they have enough damage? Definitely blast over the top. That's three wiped out. They forgot about the Enigma. They just straight up forgot, Jenkins. Was not expecting that. You know, if you, if you if you take one tier two right now, you can just take the outpost. 
Smoke in, Nico baby. He needs that opening. Somebody give him the vision. He tries to go straight into Ramses. Looks like with the magic damage, they're gonna be able to pop him. Chris gonna be up next. Snowball buys him just a little bit of time here. Going on to limp, but obviously he's very unlikely to make it out. Maybe he is. Fly's gonna turn around. Oh, the fatal bots, and look at that damage. The support's just getting wiped out almost instantly. And Limp, he's taking a whole heap of damage here. Nico Baby's gonna turn around. Not scared of GPK one bit. FNG coming back in. He bought back. He relocated back in. And he's gonna die back with that. And Limp's gonna go down as well. He couldn't even save his core. He can't save Nico Baby either. He's kited to infinity. Crit running literal circles around Alliance as RTZ gets the ultra kill to wipe Alliance for the second time in this game. Who has the magic lamp? Because it was on the Ember Spirit, and now he's picked up the Spell Prism. So I, I need to know who has that extra save. The Ember Spirit, he got caught up with the Reaper Sight. The Snowball save, though. It came in, and now Alliance is grouped up. And a giant hit from GPK as he is putting out the damage back and forth with those remnants. They've lost their IO in exchange for a Tusk, but S4 is super low. Can they catch him? Managing to blink away. He's trying to run. Looks like he's going to get out. Ramsey stumbles a little bit forward here. Nico, baby, they're going for RTZ. He needs the vision, though. Do they have it? He sends the Magnetic Field onto the side. Can they get on top of him with the Necrophos? They got him with enough damage here. That's going to be life number one. One, but they can't stick around. The Reaper Scythe is coming out. Then Death Prophet doesn't die to it just yet. Nico Baby coming back in. S4 with the stomp. On to three. Hits the Tempest double as well. Nico Baby's going for it. He's going for RTZ, but he doesn't have the damage. No! RTZ pumps it out too much. He gets the Ultra Kill. He gets the Rampage. It's not over yet, though. Alliance have the buybacks. They may have just rampaged on RTZ. They have uh, a Fisher and a Lightning Bolt that they can place down immediately onto the Storm Spirit, but not enough follow-up there. V-Tune. Instead, now he's going to charge forward. Starts poking at Mickey, but that's all really it is. Just kind of poking. Eventually, there's that's the Vacuum a Storm Hammer. Vacuum. A big hit on three. And that is going to be the conclusion of game number one as Liquid close it out in Fancy, fancy style there. In all of these fights, they've looked so uncomfortable getting Smoke slowed up. down. Seb, if he gets the right kind of initiation here, it would be really big. Spot Seb. His blink dagger tonight, but at the same time, the initiation going out of the Koifa. Telekinesis into the Boundless Strike stun, but here comes the Bro Strike on a two with the Epicenter. They throw the Chronosphere, and they catch three with that. Meanwhile, the Monkey King, who had already been doomed, doesn't stand a chance. Once again, Seb, and his initiation is completely denied. We have not seen an RP from this man, nor will we in this fight, as five get wiped from the face of the Earth. There's the uh, Heaven's Halberd build for the Faceless Void. Still going for it in yep. uh, in this patch. I mean, it's it's only 400 extra gold. I don't feel like that's that big of a nerf. Yeah, and when it's so good, carry against carry. Golem and Upheaval going to be used here to try and bail out Koifa, who gets caught by a smoke here. The Skewer's going to be able to stop that Upheaval, but now it's Mickey time. He gets a three-man Chronosphere. Here comes Thompson, though. He does manage to get out the Wukong's command. Most of his team is dead, but one very important member is still alive, and it's mid one. He is laying the damage in, not able to finish off Mickey, but they're fighting around this um, Wukong's command pretty nicely, trying to disengage and get out, but he's caught in the silence. He falls, and now a Doom on to Thompson. They'll leave him for last, just as they've done so many times before. A second Heaven's Halberd picked up as well for Taiga.